Hello, YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Gotta Change. Our girl was giving head and she split her tongue. Let's talk about it. Man, that shit ripped the bottom of her tongue, G. Let me see. Let me see your tongue, man. No. We at the hospital right now. This is. I'm not even laughing, bro. <laughs> she ripped her tongue, G. She in critical condition, G. <laughs> Let me, yo, let me just real quick. Show no. your tongue real quick, man. Can we go in here? All right, bro. Please. Just, just, just. No. Look. They got to look at it. We got to figure out what's wrong. Come on. Yeah, hey, bro. This shit's sad as hell, man. She might not make it. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. She might not ever suck dick. Again. Look at her face. Long story, but it ripped and then it hurt. Like, like, what was it from? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, just tell her. Yeah. I was um, sucking some. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I heard it all, so that doesn't bother me. Right. She don't look like she in critical condition. Mm. My tongue about to fall okay, off. I think it's crazy. And once again, like I said, I think it's crazy that you can't even really appreciate that indigo. But I, I think I find it funny when, and I get it. I, I, I try to be not such a so hard on this, but you know, it's just saying that you were, you know, doing oral sex and you did something to your tongue. I don't think that's. It's so crazy that you have to walk into a hospital. And you could just say I was given oral sex and I split my tongue. Like, you're right. Doc, doc, she's right. Nurses, doctors, they've heard way worse stuff than you were giving oral sex and your tongue split. I mean, there's a reason behind that. It's like, just tell us, man. man we ain't got time to play all these dang games, man. I, I, I just, it's so frustrating. Uh, but my main, my main uh, issue for making this video is because how uncomfortable this girl looks. I get that everything is a joke these days. I get it. You know, you want to make it look, get a, get your couple views, maybe a thousand, maybe a billion. This person got 9.1 million views off this video, I think. Okay, get you get your little clout or make a little joke about it. But you can tell, at least what I think, and I could be reading into this wrong. But if I had a girlfriend, right, I'm married, but if I had a girlfriend and we did do something, right, oral sex or something, and she split her tongue. Why would I go on the internet to tell the whole world that her head game is so crazy that she split her tongue? What does it make her look like? Unless she's the biggest, unless she's out there telling everybody, hey guys, I gave head, my head game so crazy. That's what, like, who would she be telling that to? Like, who would it appeal to? Is she going to tell her friends that? Is she going to tell her friends? She can keep that off the internet. Is she telling other women that? Like, oh girls, my head game is so cool that I split my tongue. It's like, Okay, so I mean, why would you tell that to other women to what boast yourself up to say that you're the best uh, you're the best person in the world when it comes to oral sex? Is that going to hype you up, make you feel like a status, give you something in this world? And for the guy who's doing it, why put your girl on there to say that you got a girlfriend who her head is so great that she even splits her tongue? It's like for who to appeal to other men. And if that is the case, young men, and here's where we start. This is where I start splitting ways with some people who talk about this kind of stuff. I don't believe we need to teach young men about uh, getting a girlfriend who head is so crazy. I don't think we should talk about sex so openly. I don't think it's funny. I don't, I don't like joke about it. I, I think it's weird to me because once again, we just made a video before having sex and doing those intimate things with your wife. Oh, I don't think this is his wife um, because that would really be embarrassing to put your wife on here, but having sex and all that stuff, guys, y'all got to understand. And I know this is really hard to understand. Because the way society makes it look makes it look a lot less serious than it is. But the more you give in to sex and the more you um, make it normal and normalize having sex and making fun of people for giving head and calling yourself the throat goat and all that kind of stuff, it's, it's so hilarious among children. But if you're an adult, you got to understand that is the purpose. That is the plan of y'all know who. 
is to get y'all so deep and to get y'all so demoralized and to have y'all just completely toss off sex as something to joke around with. It's just something that you do. It's something that's funny now. Sex is just this open thing that's supposed to be between a man and a woman within the sanctity of marriage. Y'all see the repercussions, but y'all don't get it because y'all think it's just funny. And that's the thing is, people, y'all miss the forest for the trees, man. Y'all laugh at these silly little videos thinking it means nothing. But the more you normalize sex and slapping booties and having sex with your wife and all this kind of stuff and putting it on the internet as a joke, the more you normalize sex. And what does that do? It gets more children to get into this, thinking sex is all normal. And the more you get into that, you got more people who fall into what? Pornography and sex addiction. And when people fall more into pornography and sex addiction, what ends up happening? Not in every single case, and I'm not saying this always leads to this, but you can see with porn being so rampant, how much child abuse has gone up, how much sexual abuse has gone up, how many, how much uh, child trafficking has gone up, how much human trafficking has gone up, how many people are getting more sexually abused, how much revenge porn is on the internet now, how many people get filmed without their knowing of it, how many people get drugged and get their video uploaded to porn. Look at all this stuff because everybody just takes it as a joke anytime somebody mentions because they think the the they think it's so funny to hear the word throat goat. They think it's so funny to hear the word, oh, she gave me head. They th and only people who find that funny is children. And those are the ones who are growing up and starting to fall into these traps of getting manipulated and groomed. I've been watching so many videos lately of all these men and women, but mainly men who have groomed all of these kids because the little kids didn't think nothing of it. They begin, get these 13 year olds, these 12 year olds, they get these men who are in their 20s saying, hey, can you just show me a new picture? Hey, just show me some lingerie. And there's kids, who, and I know it's gonna be a little graphic, but there were kids, man, who were sh just having video cam, like uh, what you would call Skype or doing what we're doing now, but Zoom, right? They would Zoom these, these men and just talking, they would watch the man across the screen masturbate to them. Just, just because they're young. And the kids don't know what's going on because masturbation, it's all just a joke to them. You hear jokes about jerking off all the time, going home and I'm going to go look at some porn. Oh, I can't wait for that post nut clarity. It's such a joke that young kids can't even, young kids don't even know what's going on anymore when they get put in a situation. And they don't talk about it because, why? Because if they were to really go to somebody and say they wanted to go to a friend, and say that, I don't know, man, this guy's 20 years old and he's telling me to send him news. Their friends are their friends are so used to seeing it on the internet, they're going to be like, okay, girl, that's cool. Or they'll make fun of them, call him a hoe, thought, slut, something. Because nobody takes sex seriously anymore. Because sex, the second we come out and be like, hey, maybe you should wear something more modest. Oh, we're, 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 we're crazy religious guys. We're, we're crazy because we want to think that. I can't tell you how many times when I was a young man and when I was 13, 14, 15 growing up, right? I got called gay throughout a lot of my younger days until I was like 25. Because anytime I'd be like, man, you know, you don't have to wear booty shorts and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm just saying you're displaying yourself a certain way to men. I got called gay. And now if you say that, uh, you know, your booty shorts, they may be showing off a little bit much. Do what you want. If you even have that conversation, what they're going to say is, oh, you're trying to say I can't wear what I want. So if a man attacks me, it's because of what I was wearing. That's not what I said. I'm saying just preserve your body a little bit. You don't have to show the whole world your butt cheeks. You don't have to dress so provocatively. But you see celebrities do it. Beyonce does it. Everybody does it. Now, they, they dress provocatively, and they think it's the coolest thing on earth. And the more sex sells, the more evil it gets. And people will realize that one day, when hopefully this all stops, but the more we joke about sex... The more we joke about giving head, the more we want to put our girlfriends on film saying her head is crazy, uh, blah, 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 blah. You, know, you see the repercussions. It won't get better until we start taking it seriously again. Let's actually go after these people and make them look like fools if we have to. Or at least have the conversation and be like, that wasn't the wisest thing to do. Keep that off the internet. That's what, that's what has these grown men getting on Twitter and X. Some some that we know that are famous get on X talking about 13 year olds, 14 year olds, 16 year olds, talking about them like they do because sex is a joke. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out.